Safe. Thank the sisters. A moment while I close the gate. There. We may rest easy for now. Was there any trouble? I expect some void sent slipped through. A few did, aye. But we were ready and dealt with them without incident. That is well. I cannot thank you enough for your vigilance. Yes, yes, you're grateful. But aren't you forgetting something more important? You know, the polite but warm formalities one delights in hearing when their little brother returns from a long journey. Indeed, you are right. <clears throat> it is good to be home again. Among those who I love dearly and missed so much. <laughs> and we are glad to receive you, Vashan. Welcome home. Chambers have been prepared for your use at Megaduta. Let us take Zero there at once. Our mission took many an unexpected turn. 
I am relieved that we have all returned safely. But before you all enjoy the rest you have earned a dozen times over, I would consult you on one last matter. Zero. While she appears none the worse for wear, she remains locked in slumber, and I cannot help but worry. Is there aught we can do to expedite her recovery? If her ether is exhausted, perhaps I can share some of mine now. In the wastelands of the 13th, one can only replenish ether by taking it from others, be it by trade or by force. In contrast, the source is rich in ambient ether. Simply being here and drawing breath, Zero will absorb what she needs. Then we need but wait? I believe so. She will awaken in time, and when she does, give her something to eat. Judging by her form, she should also be able to derive nourishment from food. I know you promised her your ether, but perhaps she might appreciate fine harnish cuisine more. Food can certainly be arranged. She looks like any other person. Unsurprising, perhaps, given that she is only part void scent. Zero said before that Xenos had altered her essence. A change wrought, I suspect, with the power of darkness. It acted upon the part of her that is void sent, rendering it dominant. Thus, we were able to reverse it with the power of light. I labor to believe that Xenos possessed such arcane knowledge. In all likelihood, it came from Than Daniel. Were Zero wholly void sent, I doubt the crystal would have had an effect on her. One might say that Hydaelyn had a hand in your meeting. It is no exaggeration to say that Zero has proven herself invaluable, a boon from Hydaelyn herself. Her cooperation may come at a price, but whatever it is, I am willing to pay it, exhausting though it may be at times. <laughs> <laughs>